Hello, this is Mohamed from Artila. Welcome to onboarding session number one, which is about orders, licenses, and partnership. So as we are on our homepage, we're going to start with the first point of today, which is simply to show you how to order. So you just go to the pricing page. And here, you better grab the deal if not yet done. It's a lifetime deal that would really not last. And once you're on the lifetime deal page or whatever page may be there, you will see that we have few options and prices. You, we also offer a free time for a free time lifetime license for one machine. That means you can install it on one device and you can manage one project at a time. That's free. You can go ahead and test the power of Artila. But for the demo of today, I'm going to start with the, level, the first level of this license at $99. And then I click Purchase. So when you do this, you also have to be aware uh, how you came to Artila because we run different partnership programs. You may have come to Artila through a partner who has given you a discount code or another URL or a specific URL that will give you specific benefits. So you need to, to check out from the URL uh, that is designed for, for your discount code or the program you followed. So in this instance, I created uh, a discount code for myself. But if you don't have a discount code and, and you just... Uh, go through the regular checkout. You can finalize the checkout here by paying at the bottom. But in this particular case, I'm going to enter my demo code. And for the smart ones among you who want to try this demo code, it will expire after the demo. So don't waste your time. There you see, uh, it has been applied. So now it's zero. And the next step here is uh, to register. If you're new so to register you have two ways you can uh, I'm gonna zoom out and show you what you can do is that you can also just go to the my account icon here and choose to open an account first with Google or, or Facebook or or do it manually here or if you do it during the checkout you need to click on this little tab here and you, you need to wait a few seconds for the registration tab to show up like this now you choose a username which is going to be MHT test demo. Choose a password. So I'm going to use password 123. That's the thing that really we should not do. Um, first name, Mohammed, last name, SV. Your email address where you will receive the license. So in this case, I'm going to put my uh, test email. at artila.com and then you accept the terms or privacy policy in my case it's a free download because of the discount code otherwise the payment form was there so you click I'm not going to save this and you should after a few seconds get your order confirmation so you will receive this by email as well so you get the download links for, for Windows, Mac and Linux of the latest version uh, and also, if you go further down a little bit, you have your license right here. So this is uh, the order uh, process. Now we will move to the next point. And the next point is how to upgrade, upgrade a given license. So to do that, I'm going to move my camera to the left side to make space. Um, you have your account area where you can go right here by clicking this little uh, person icon and then in your orders and license section you will find your order and for that particular order or license you want to upgrade you click click on view licenses and you see here in the upgrades column usually for every um, license we have an upgrade path so that you can, once you get comfortable and you see the, the benefit, you can always uh, go up and upgrade the license. And now let's say I only have, right now I only have one machine and I will explain what machine means. Yeah, but basically it's a device activation. And it's not enough for me. I want to be able to install Artilla on three devices, machines at the same time. So I come here and I upgrade. It's another $99. If I click upgrade license, it's the same checkout process, but it will apply the upgrade to my existing license. So you can see here, it will remind you that you're upgrading this license that we got in the first step. Again, you can either pay 
or if you have a discount, you can benefit from it by entering it. So again, this discount is, will not be valid anymore, <laughs> just for the demo. And I'm applying it right now, so I can upgrade for virtually uh, free, just to show how it works. Then you just accept the terms or the privacy again. It's still a free download because of the discount. And then it will not change the license. The license ID, the li license key will remain the same. And just what will change is that now I have upgraded to three machines. So if I go back now to my account, I will go again to uh, here to my dashboard. And now I have two orders. The first order is the first license I started with. The second order is actually my upgrade. And if I go to view licenses, although it shows as a, as a new order, it's just to follow the billing process. But you see right, th right now, I have three activations. I had only one before. The license key, if you click here, you can highlight it and copy it, it remains the same. Yeah, so every time you forget your license key, you just come back to the order page, view licenses, and you can get it back right here. So this was uh, the point number two. And now we're gonna move to the next point. So the next point is uh, what we call the machine count. So the machine count is what you see here is the number of activations you have. So in this particular license now, I have three machines. Uh, so what is the machine? A machine is, sorry, it's a francophone <laughs> slip. Uh, machine means a computer a device. Uh, and the more you have machines, the more you can activate devices at one point using the same license key. So right now I have three machines. That means that I can activate three computers and have them active at the same time with the same license. That's what it means. Um, and then uh, every time you activate the license, you will have deducted here. It will start to count one license over three activated and then two licenses and then until you completely fill up um, the licenses. So that's, that's what is a machine count. And uh, I will also show you a little slide. Okay, this is the famous uh, slide that I wanted to use uh, to show you a little bit more about what we mean by machine and machine count. So as you can see here, uh, if let's say I have a license, uh, five machines license, Every time I activate it into one device, the count will go down by one. Let's say I install it on my laptop right here, minus one. I install it on my desktop, minus one. And then I can install it on a VPS to run my uh, automations online 24 hours a day. That's very useful. But because my VPS is shared with the team and I don't want to um, expose my main license key, I'm gonna use a team activation URL as a license. I will explain what is that. So that also counts as minus one. And then let's say I have a colleague that uh, wants to try uh, and work on Artila with me. I give him a team activation URL. And let's say I have a second colleague or a friend, uh, then I can provide another activation for them. And the good thing is that when I give team activation URLs, I don't expose my main license key. But then now I have on my main license key, I have used it and activated it at the same time right now on five different machines, so my count is now down to zero. So when you have that, uh, that's the count. The count will go down. And machine basically means a current activation, a live activation. So once you reach zero, you may find yourself uh, a bit in trouble is that maybe you change laptop or you change computers and then you want to reactivate it or you've used too much of your licenses and now you have zero activation to activate Artila. So I'm gonna show you how you can manage your uh, license activation count and that's the next point uh, of, of today is how to use your uh, online dashboard to manage your activation count. Let's go for it. So, all right, so now I'm back to the website where I left. And if I go back to my dashboard here, when I click on the little icon, or I can go to artila.com slash my hyphen account. Once you are there, you go to uh, your main license, uh, either or, because this was the upgrade, and you click on view licenses. And in the view licenses, uh, you have the count here, yeah. 
And let me show you how you actually uh, activate a license with the main key and then how to activate it with the team URL so that we can clarify the both ways. So I can use my main key, which is this one. The main key, we will see it again on, on, the, uh, on the slide when I put it back, but basically the main key uh, will give you all powers. You can uh, compile bots, you can uh, compile unlocked bots if you have that license, you can do uh, all the features that you have in that license. So that's the main license, it really covers everything. So I'm, what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to deactivate the current license I have to show you how to use the license key. So when you install Artila, you will reach a screen like this. And this is where you activate differently, depending on the license key that you're going to use. So if I use my main license key, which gives me full powers, I'll come here and I paste it. I paste it, I click activate license. It will connect to the server. It will check if you still have activations left. And then it will pull your email account. So it's activated successfully. It pulled my email account. I have three machines. I used it once. I have two activations left. Now, if I go back to my account online right here, and I refresh the page, you see, now I activated once over three. I still have another two activations. Now, let's say I want to use a team URL uh, license. So I'm going to go into activation URLs under the team column. And here, um, I'm going to give it to Mr. John Doe, which we just hired, the invisible man, John Doe. He's going to get a license. Of course, it should be a valid email, and I'll explain later one uh, for, uh, during our partnership program. But that's what you need to do. You need to put an email, uh, even if it's for a VPS, because that will allow you to track which license is used by whom or by which uh, device. So you see here, it generated a what we call an activation URL key. So if I copy this now, and I go back to Artila, I will disengage from this license right here. Uh, deactivate license, yes. And let's say you give this to a team member. Then what you have to do is that you have to go into team member right here and enter the team member activation, and then they can join your team from a licensing perspective. They don't have to pay, uh, and they get into to use Artila. So they have uh, multiple advantages, and I will show you the differences between the two. But you see now they have an activated copy of Artila, and they can go and do the work that you want them to do with you uh, as a team member. I'll pull back my slide just to go to the next point. Now, uh, about the question or the point, uh, uh, which is uh, the difference between uh, the main, using the main license key and the team activation URL. Besides the fact that they both have a different way of, 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 of being used to activate the software, they do come with some differences, and I have put them in this slide. So, for example, here, uh, if you had to define what is a team activation URL, is that it has basically a higher, a higher value than the free uh, license, but it has a lower value than the paid license. So it's like in between. So you offer your team a good deal, which is free, but better than the free. Uh, so that's a little bit of a, the incentive. But of course, they don't get the full feature of your main license. When you use your main license key, you basically have all the powers of that license, which is creating sub-licenses, uh, unlocking bots if you have that license, and then managing uh, all the, li the aspects of the license and the billing. But when you come as a team member, you don't have an online dashboard. Uh, your bots, you can develop them uh, for, for your team, for your uh, corporation, for your company, but the bots are unlocked, and only the main license key owner who has the rights, the reseller rights, can, can uh, recreate uh, fully unlocked bots. Uh, you can't manage your own license when you have a team URL activation license. So if the owner of the main license cuts you off, you have, or if the license expires or whatever, you have to request a new one. So you don't have any license management uh, possibility. But also the team URL license doesn't offer direct support uh, from our team. So you can only get community support on the forums or on the Facebook group. So those are the main, difference, main differences between team activation URL and the main key. 
Okay, now we are back or we are reaching the final point of this uh, first onboarding session, which is the question that often comes back, why having a higher uh, machine number and what is the partner program? So very quickly, because we will do a video and a page that is specific about the uh, partner program, but just like I was uh, telling you about the team activation URLs. So they have a limitation in terms of to whom you can give it. So you cannot sell a team activation URL because that will effectively illegally compete with us. But you can provide your team URLs to your team members, for, uh, uh, so your employees, your contractors, your learners, as long as uh, the team activation URL is used within the maximum limit uh, or the time period of your contract, be it an employment contract, a consulting contract, or a learning uh, phase, time phase. There you can provide a team license URL. So that shows you or that explains the advantage of uh, or one of the advantages of having a higher number of machines because the more machines you have, the more people you can onboard on our TILA. So with our partner program, we will uh, give a whole uh, monetization roadmap, a whole monetization plan on how you can make the best out of our TILA to monetize your time and monetize your investment in Artila. So let's say uh, you reach different levels of, of uh, monetization. One of them is to provide uh, courses, uh, e-learnings or courses, physical, online, about how to use automation in Artila. And when you have a higher number of licenses, you can basically onboard as many people as, as machines you have. So if you have uh, a five machines license, you can just onboard three people or four people at the same time because you're using one. But if you have 100 machines, or 200 machines, or best if you were lucky and among those who have the unlimited machine, you can basically onboard that many uh, users at the same time in one go without having to go and manually disable one uh, activation to make space to the next one. You can disable all at the end of, of your course and then start again the count from, from scratch. And you, have, and, you, and you can build a much bigger funnel much bigger funnel of new learners, new users who want to discover Artila and benefit from your onboarding services. So that's, that's the advantage of the number of machines be, beyond your personal use in your company and providing licenses to your team. You can really use it for onboarding more people. And I will say more, uh, we will cover more about the partnership program, but it's basically a long-term win-win uh, profit-sharing uh, partnership with our users, users like you. So that's about uh, this point, and we have covered uh, the first session of onboarding. And the next sessions are going to be uh, more and more uh, about the software. And we thank you for coming and joining the adventure that Artila is. Thank you again, Mohammed from Artila. Welcome again.